My name is Greg. I moved to Los Angeles six years ago to be an actor. That didn't happen, so now I work at a bank. I turned 35 two days ago. Yesterday I bought a new toaster and cleaned the fridge. I pretty much feel exactly like I did when I was 34, but truthfully, I'm a little sadder. I brush my teeth like I did yesterday. I'm gonna drink my coffee like I did yesterday. I'm gonna barely eat breakfast like I did yesterday. And I'm gonna run out that damn door like I did every day for the last six years. so fast, faster than I'd ever thought. They say time is perception. Well, when I was 10, a day seemed like a year. Now they pass by like a blink of the eye. I'm already a day closer to 36. Imagine that, 40 and four blinks. Maybe it's better to keep my eyes open. I saw a movie like that once. I kept the man's eyes from blinking. I made many mistakes. I was in love a long time ago, but I wasn't man enough to accept fate. So was it really fate then? See, I get mixed up by these thoughts, but I fight my feelings, and now years later, I'm still alone. So I ask myself, is this all a dream? Yesterday, I swear I was being chased by something or someone. Something all black following all my moves everywhere I looked, but it penetrated deeper, like it was in my body, in my blood. I need to get that checked out. Can you imagine? If you showed your one-year-old self to your 35-year-old self by some freak time warp, some Star Trek shit. Well, that little son of a bitch wouldn't believe you were him where you ended up. No way. This earthquake in Japan, these fucking terrorists, these idiot politicians, this non-stop news has got me thinking about the fragility of existence. I mean, I don't want to think about all that. And by the flip of the switch, day turns into night. That's a good question. What I do most nights. I grab some takeout, sit in front of the computer, maybe the good old TV box, looking at things I don't really care about, skimming everything. I'll jerk off if I have the energy. Sleep is nice though. And you know the best part? When you wake up after a deep sleep, for a few seconds you're left alone. No worries, no loneliness, nothing but absolute peace. Can someone bottle that feeling, those few seconds before the concrete blocks fall over my head? Yeah, I like that feeling a lot these days. It makes me happy.